We're back again today with my third favorite addiction. You in the comments were kind enough to tell me I'm not done until I have two watermelons. So now I'm about to spend the next 10 hours of my life making circles bigger and for some reason you're going to watch. We already have a pretty big circle and there's one that's almost as big. As I'm in going insane trying to do this, I'm also going to try and figure out why this is so enjoyable to watch and play. Because look at that, we have two fairly big circles that are very slowly getting closer to each other. Now we have an even bigger, happier circle, but we're trying to make the biggest circle of all and we need two of them. <laughs> this one will drive me insane by the end. But you know what? We're going to put that up there because he's going to tilt that over there and then we can just dump this right on top of him. Now we're nicely set up for the future. And we'll clear out the strawberry. We need that to debris to all combine just like that. We need less of that little stuff anywhere. It is our mortal enemy. I think this should also be a chain reaction. Hopefully that doesn't bounce too far away and then they're all happy. They're slowly going to touch and we're just going to wait. Now we have the fourth biggest circle of all. Our score is 173. I was told we need to get 3000. That shouldn't be hard. I've got all night. Nothing else going on in my life. We currently have about five pieces on the board. It all seems so easy at this point. It seems silly that this would even get hard. I'm going to throw this down here to hopefully push everything together. It's a game of patience after all. I feel inner peace at this point. There's only three pieces on the board. I do have to say it annoys me how they clump together like that because I can't really drop this anywhere. It's either going to roll into that space or it's going to separate these two, which I'm probably happier with. And even when you try and predict what's about to happen, it doesn't work. Luckily, I could throw the cherry down in there, hopefully, and that's jumbled it. Everyone seems to hate the cherries. I don't know why they get such a bad rap. All you gotta do is drop two of them together and they become something new entirely. It's really a game of planning and strategy, which is why I'm so bad at it. But if we drop that there, I was hoping that would hop up to the other red one. But in saying that, it's okay to have two red ones separated. They're pretty high level pieces. Because eventually some other red ones will touch those. Red ones aren't that hard to make. Maybe we should drop that down there just so we clear him out. And then it's going to force those two together. Then we'll combine the strawberries. I think that right there is the danger. You get so excited because you're like, these two circles go together. Quick, drop them together. But you don't think about why you should combine them. Will that one fit? It sure did. But now we're having that problem where we have a fairly big circle and a really big circle and they're not close enough to be friends yet. So I'm actually going to drop that there. I was hoping that would have a different effect. But you know what? That worked out because I'm pretty sure those two will touch. I'm actually tempted to leave them separate on both sides. But we're better off doing that with a pineapple. So for now we're just going to bonk that one that way. They're going to be friends. I'm annoyed I can't get a cherry onto the left side of the strawberry. So I'm actually going to ricochet it off that so it bounces is over to that side at least somewhat. It's really hard to explain but I love and hate this all at the same time. I would hope to fit that. Actually that worked. I'm just gonna let that kind of jostle into place and then we're gonna drop the cherry. Hopefully this doesn't screw anything up but so far things are pretty nice and orderly. If I drop that there, little chain reaction, good. Our score is up to 428. It's going up quickly but this escalates from 0 to 100 alarmingly quick. I think I'm actually going to drop these sort of down here to wedge them all across the bottom because if I drop that up there I more or less want it to stay there with that one for now. It's easy to make that one roll down the hill later. It's also easy to have all this get wildly out of control and do whatever it wants though at the same time so it's anyone's guess what's about to happen. So we have a strawberry and then a cherry. These can both sit over here kindly for now. If I drop this here it's going to create a chain reaction I don't really want. So I'm going to throw it up here for now where I can just pretend it doesn't exist and then hopefully it will come in handy and make me look smart later. Spoiler alert, it won't. Uh, I was hoping to drop that one. That still might jar it to the left. Actually, that's gonna also going to be a mm, not a great chain reaction, but not the worst one either. I don't mind having these red ones all around because they're just an explosion waiting to happen later that's going to pop everything nicely into place. Anytime anyone asks any questions, I just say I'm playing 4D chess. You wouldn't understand. And that's an easy cop out for anyone. Here we got some cherries. Those are always fun. Um, They're going to play with each other right here. I'm glad that one didn't take a weird bounce. And then we're going to put that one there. The cherry bounced a little bit, but that's perfect. Given the amount of pieces we have sitting down, we have very few small ones annoying me still. I think if I can actually make that stay up there, that's a good place for that. As long as I don't wiggle things too hard, up there is good. And the two cherries are maybe about to touch, but I'm just going to start building up on the left side. I'm really nervous about wiggling things too much right now because we're about to make two reds, which are going to turn into two of those. 
So that's going to make a pink, which is sitting pretty good. I kind of want to wedge that back to the left really quickly, though. So that's okay. That's okay. If they stay nicely like that, they're okay. Uh, for those of you concerned that your IQ is lowering for watching this video, I'm sorry, because you're right. Mm, that didn't roll the way I wanted it to, not at all. But we'll just chalk that up to being a happy accident, not unlike myself. And we'll try and jostle things back the other way gingerly. See, it's almost like I know what I'm doing, because this pink one will turn into a pineapple soon, which will combine with that pineapple, and then we'll have our very first watermelon. At least that's more or less my plan. Uh, we're going to combine things on top of the big pink dummy. I should have bounced that the other way. I know better. Well, it's nothing a strawberry over here won't fix. These two will combine anyway. They're just too far to one side. So we're going to play the opposite game. Then we're going to bounce off him and go that way. Grapes become this orange thing down below eventually, especially once I do that. So we got two grapes sitting in an annoying spot. I don't really want to drop this cherry here because I'm worried it's going to bounce to the right. And it did. Well, that's nothing we uh, can't compensate for. I didn't really want that to happen. I didn't have to tell you guys that, but I'm going to because I like being honest with you. I really wish we were watching my blood pressure as we were playing this game. That would be a really fun twist on it because things are kind of taking a peculiar turn. So if I could make that light yellow and that light yellow more on touch, they would combine with the pink, which would... There's actually a watermelon here. They're just... It's not in its form yet. And they're actually working the wrong way right now. So I'm going to try and force things over that's actually not bad i didn't expect that to work that well you got to be careful not getting reckless in this game though if you start just dropping things everywhere you'll be dead before you know it or just dead inside like me where i'll drop a strawberry over there they're so close things are actually taking a really unfortunate turn at this point so we'll drop a cherry on top that actually worked then these two are going to combine and those two won't can we wedge that yeah we got to go that way there we go okay if those two pinks touch, that'll be good. I'm just trying not to... Uh, the physics in this game are wild. Okay, this is good. They're shifting. They're shifting. I just got to get things to jostle a good bit. I don't really know what I want to wedge down there right now. I need just a little bit more weight over there. But actually, if I get this to turn into a red up top, then we could be getting somewhere. That was a really dumb move. I see that now and I apologize in advance. But if I drop that there, if those two can touch... We have too many little pieces. They're just stopping every little thing from touching. But this will be a little chain reaction. And everything went the wrong direction. You know, this might not actually work out bad if we're going to for two watermelons anyway. Because over here, we actually have quite a few pieces of a watermelon. And over here, we can probably actually build our very own watermelon. We're just going to be a little... Oh, okay, never mind. That's fine too. Yeah, I meant for that to happen. For each chess and, and all that. Okay, so we currently have enough for one watermelon. But if we build a pineapple here and a pineapple here... We get two watermelons and that's our goal today we are also 1000 scores so we are getting closer you know it'd actually be stupid to drop that right there wouldn't it it's probably also stupid to drop it here but i'm gonna try and bounce it into that crevice because i want to go like this instead then we have a red sitting directly on top of a pineapple and i might actually be able to wedge that down in there if i really hmm i regret that largely mm, i don't know what to do about that so i'm mm, gonna pretend that didn't happen there was a multitude of mistakes uh none of which we need to talk about well i did get a double chain reaction there so we're just gonna let those two be because i hate those things anyway we're going to drop this over here and we're gonna continue on i'm hoping if these combine here That'll drop the two reds will combine to the left. Nope, not at all. This is already getting a little bit screwy, but that kind of worked. So everything jumped into place. We know of a melon pineapple. I forgot there was a melon in between the steps. So I'm sure I'll hear about that in the comments, but that's okay. We're uh, like halfway to a, a watermelon for real this time. Yeah, whatever. Circles are complicated. It's not an exact science at the best of times. I would really like if that cherry could wander down in there and uh, be its new thing but since it's not going to we're just going to help it along a little bit i'm going to try and bounce this one to the left to combine with the other grapes and that didn't work but if i wedge this one down in there that's a bad idea let's drop that one here because we'll combine that little chain reaction later is there a way to buy more storage in this i need a little bit more room that's my big problem i really need this to sit in that crevice and then i need this to also not do that well that's okay we'll set off a chain reaction over here hopefully maybe Sort of. Not really. I guess overall we're still sitting pretty good. Because I can still go like that and that's cleaned up that little mess quite a bit. We'll try and fit that in there. 
these two are going to combine for each other. That rocketed that other cherry away. But if I get it down, maybe all the way down to that one? Nope, that was a bad idea. Well, we're going to continue jostling things over there for a second. We're going to drop that there because we drop another one and transform it there. Anything from orange or bigger is useful. Anything below that, you're just trying to get into a better form. It's like resource management, but without all the fun. Okay, that's okay up there. That's a good spot for that. Those two will combine. Then we get one of those. We put that there because it's another half a thing. I really got to stop doing that because I'm bouncing things the wrong way. But if I drop this here, it should jettison the grape over to the other grape. And these two are going to combine. I think I actually want to do that maybe over here. I'd rather have this one primed. And this one can just sit up here for now because that doesn't matter. Even like this one up here, I'm going to sit that right up there. That's actually a better spot for it right now. Because at least when I do this... They're going to combine each other there now, and they're closer to that pineapple, but I have no idea how I'm going to make that pink into a pineapple into the other pineapple. What I need to do is send a cherry on an, on an excursion down that way, and I don't yet know how I'm going to do that. For now, we're going to... Oh, actually, that kind of worked. Uh, I don't also want to turn this cherry into something else. I needed to go down to the cherry where it's going to turn into a strawberry. Uh, things are shifting, but in sort of the wrong order. That was exactly what I just said I was not going to do anymore. But in this sense, I'm going to go like that and it's going to shimmy under there. And now we made problems worse. Now I'm starting to understand why people don't like the cherries. I never noticed it so bad, but now that I've seen it, I can't unsee it. Those two will eventually touch. I'm going to sit here and wait. I'm I'm just going to sit here and wait. And when they inevitably don't do what they're supposed to, I'm just going to prime it up there so I can go like that and make a red one up there at least. Because if I can make one, one more red one here, I can make a big chain reaction that might make everything jump enough to make everything happy. These stupid cherries. I need a better home for them. I need a cherry storage center. But at least at this point, I can stack some up there. It's tempting to put that there, but that might also be stupid. We'll just put it there. Eventually, that will jump into a nice place. So we got one of those. I need to make another one of those over here, though. But this is a chance to get rid of a cherry. And I honestly don't want to get rid of that other cherry that's actually sitting in a nice spot to eliminate another cherry. So we'll just go like that for now. That can go there. Cherry, we're just going to sort of tuck in right here where it's not going to be too annoying. And this is the kind of thing I need. These orange guys. It's not going to sit very nicely there, though, but I need it to be on this side of that. Uh, that probably doesn't make any sense at all to you, but I'm sure most of my videos don't, so what does it matter? This is not doing super hot, but with a little love and care, we can get it there. We need one more red right here, which... Oh, everything's actually shifting really hard. This could be good for us. So actually what I could do is do this and make a bigger orange. As long as nothing shifts too hard, that could be a big chain reaction for us. We just need another big orange. So also in the meantime, I'm very carefully going to place a few things. Uh, yeah, I'm going to pretend that was supposed to go there. We got another big orange. Perfect. Big chain reaction. Oh, those are so far apart. That thing might as well be on the moon. Hmm. Well, we'll see if we can find a clever way to wedge it out of there. But that pineapple is... A long ways away from its brother. I don't really know how to get it out of there either. If I can make everything shift in a really big way, well, it's a little bit lower than it was. Okay, well, it is getting closer. The bigger ones tend to make the way to the bottom, I guess, eventually. I'm actually kind of tempted to see if I can, like, force that over. I don't know if that's going to work. No, that just lifted the small one up. Well, we're getting close to 2,000 scores, so that's something. I just, I need all of these combined so we can get one efficient watermelon. I did not mean to do that. I bumped my thing on the desk, so it dropped that strawberry in a interesting place. That's not great for us. Okay, strawberries going there. Is that going to fit if I drop it down there? I don't like either direction here, but that way at least makes a chain reaction. Technically, we're set up decently well for two watermelons, but two watermelons is... Yeah, we got tight working conditions. A strawberry down there. We'll combine with another strawberry into grapes later, so that's a nice chain reaction. Even a cherry. A cherry can be our friend for once. Those two will combine. Uh, Things are trying to shift again, maybe quite violently. If I put that there, okay, we're going to have a little chain reaction over... Nope, apparently we're not. Outstanding. Well, that's not great for us. So we're going to hide a cherry over there. That's shifting things again. Uh, we can make a chain reaction on either side. I kind of wish I saw this coming. I really need to pay attention more to what's up next. I think the one on the left's got more of a chance of combining, or it could just kill us. Okay, look how clean this is, though. You gotta admit you're impressed with this. We have a whale melon. 
and only four of the pieces on the board. This is great. It's so beautiful that I like hardly even want to touch this. It just looks so clean and, and nice for once. But nothing can last forever. So we'll see what kind of giant mess we can make. Like already I'm not really sure which side of this I want to go to. I'm going to see if I can actually balance that sort of right there on top while I slip that one down below and that somehow actually worked. I didn't think I was going to get away with that. And then we're just going to pick up building right on top of that all because we have all the space in the world so we can even do things like just drop cherries wherever for a second because it doesn't matter. It matters a little bit let's be honest I'm being a little bit cavalier at this point but we can get rid of a cherry right away so we're gonna do that. This game is basically about getting rid of cherries as quick as you can. Hmm, I kind of made a bit of a floating incident on this side, so I'm gonna wait for a second to see if those grapes want to get close to each other. It's actually a shame trying to work underneath things, like I should almost just abandon everything down there and start up top, which I'm sort of actually going to by just putting a big anchor up there. Even one more of those up there. Uh, never mind, that's just gonna... Fine. Fine. That's fine. Doesn't matter where that goes. Can I get one of those to just... Oh, it bounces off the roof. I didn't realize the slope of the roof actually affected things. I meant to drop that a lot sooner. So that's not going to sit up there anyway, no matter what I do. So we're just going to keep dropping things in and hoping they make their way down to the bottom where they can be friends with everything else. Does everything bounce off the roof like that? That one didn't. Now I'm just confused about how this works entirely. Well, whatever, we'll keep working our way upwards very slowly. We got some red pieces back in business. I think the trick of cherries is put them anywhere where you can get to them in the future. You put them where you can't get to them and they're going to bone you real hard. So far, this might be okay. If that would have bounced the other way, I would feel better about it. But there we go, a mini chain reaction. Okay, I'm actually going to try and set uh, this one up top and that one stayed there. Okay, this is okay then. Uh, in saying that, I'm going to set that over there because that one's easy to morph later. That one's easy to morph later. Uh, that one's easy to morph later. We're sort of investing in our future slowly because I think I can s that's actually going to sit up there and at worst it's going to knock things more or less into place where they should go and then we can uh, pop one of those out. So that goes there, that goes there, and that goes there. That's a red one. That knocked that way too hard over. Uh, I'm going to see if I can do the same thing and coax it back over. We perfect. Okay, good. Now we can have a little chain reaction here. That's very satisfying. We could have a few chain reactions potentially. Okay. Um, that wasn't actually the greatest thing in the world. Uh, I'm gonna try and drop a grape here, semi-slowly, and then a cherry in behind so the cherries can touch. Okay, that worked. Well enough for me. So that's gonna go there. There's cherries are gone. Then we're gonna drop that there. So those are out of the way. That other one wasn't the greatest maneuver. I wish that would roll the other direction. I don't really don't want to put another one of these here. I'm actually gonna put that up top, believe it or not. That's a better place for it for now. And chain reaction. Not a huge one, but that's okay. This is okay. I wish I had just a little more storage room than I have now. But if we go like that, we'll get a nice little... Uh, I did that wrong. I did that really wrong. There are enough pieces down below though. Like, it's close to working. I'm going to do something really risky and... Okay, that was a not good. If my calculations are correct, and they sometimes are, we may be about to get a pretty good chain reaction. It's going to work in my favor for once. Got it. One big upside down watermelon, finally. But we're not done there. The score is not even 2000 yet. But luckily we only have a few little pieces hiding at the bottom, so we should be able to chain reaction those and clean things up really nicely, really easily. And from here, we need to start strategizing properly again. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I don't even know if dropping this in here is a good move at this point, but I'm going to try. And we wedged it. But this feels good. This feels right. If we can get this to roll to the left, the grapes could have touched our first mistake. Honestly, I'm just hoping that if I sit here for long enough, those grapes will eventually touch and then I won't have to think about what I've just done. Well, I can't conceivably get any way to make those two join and that's okay. The watermelon is sitting pretty low down. Actually, if I go like that, that's not bad. The watermelon is touching the ground and that's the main thing. When it's floating halfway up the level, you just don't have the room you need. Now it's just a matter of deciding which side of this I want to work on and with what. Obviously we already have that melon there so it's natural to want to build this side up. And since the strawberry is about the only thing that can fit down there, even just barely at that, the strawberry is going to that side. And we're going to throw the bigger stuff on this side where it's going to stay against the side. That could go down there, that could combine, but that's actually going to push the watermelon into a weird spot. I'd rather it stay right where it's at. I really hope I don't come to regret that. But that's my choice and I'm sticking to it. We lifted this stupid watermelon anyway. That's so annoying. 
Every inch that watermelon moves makes my life a million times harder. So we're gonna try and double drop those two so they all combine. That also didn't work. And everything's just lifting the watermelon anyway, so stupid little ones are getting right under there. That's so counterproductive to me right now. Well, maybe if I get all the way to the left, I can still pretend like that's halfway helpful. Uh, if the red one's touching the pale melon, that also isn't the worst thing in the world for me. I'm honestly just impressed with how quickly I screwed this up. If I put a cherry over there... Hmm... Well... Okay, that's fine. If I do this quickly, hopefully these can all touch down here. I dropped that in the worst spot. That was so dumb. I do still absolutely hate where that watermelon is sitting... But all things considered, this isn't that bad anymore. The watermelon is kind of a free-roaming watermelon, which is new to me, but we'll make that work. Now, if we carefully drop this straight into that spot without much fuss, perfect. I'm going to store the little garbage up here to the left for the time being, because I think the watermelon's more or less settled into its home. That was actually a little bit unnerving, but now we have a red sitting there. So as long as we do this fairly carefully and that doesn't budge too far, I need the weight pushing down that way. I'm going to try and drop this so it goes to the left. Perfect. And then we're going to drop that one right there so they all combine. Perfect. And we have the garbage storage up top or not. Okay, that was fine. Fine, we can work with that maybe. We got more storage up here. Uh, the cherry's also going for a vacation, and those two pushed apart. Well, okay, we're gonna put that up there. We're gonna slowly work on removing that cherry like a surgeon. I'm also gonna try and... I don't know if I want to balance that there. Is that to the right or the left? I think it's to the right, just slightly. No, it was to the left, apparently, so that's fine, too. But that's okay, because this will make a red one, and this can actually just store up over here. This will slide down to that cherry eventually. Uh, this is just going to play right there. Those two will combine and combine and combine. Uh, this cherry can go up here and die for a while. I was hoping those two would combine. I was getting way too cavalier considering what's at stake here. But this should get rid of it. I feel like the physics changed on me. Things aren't acting the same, or I've been doing this for too long. Oh, that actually worked. They all popped together uh, as soon as I stopped recording. So that's interesting. What do we do about this conundrum? I really hate that those two pink things aren't already touching. That could have been a pineapple. Now we just have this mess. Well, I'm going to drop the cherry here, hoping that it will one day work its way underneath. Like if I combine this one to the right, maybe that will slide underneath. Nope, but we can at least get rid of a cherry there. And there's one less cherry in the world we all have to worry about. I'm actually making the world a better place by removing these. Uh, we'll consolidate over here into a red for now. Um, not really sure why, but that's the choice we made, so we're sticking to it. And we're going to have a red propped very nicely against the pink. Uh, while we're at it, I kind of want... Uh, oh, those did make their way down. Okay, uh, interesting. The weight shifts are just, at least to me, unpredictable, so I never really know what I'm going to get. But the little pieces uh, are actually good for wedging things around in a weird way like they can use them like that to bully things around if i was managed to get a little bit more weight there i might be able to force that strawberry through and get a little chain reaction below uh for now i'm gonna go like that and try and roll that that way perfect this will turn into a red which is hopefully touching the pale one and then we're gonna have to replace things rather carefully for a sec things are starting to jiggle around a little bit again I'm going to see if I can force them with a little forced jiggle. If I can actually land that carefully, that might have actually been counterproductive. It depends on what's going to happen next. Like, I don't really actually want to expand anything on that side, I've just realized. Uh, I need to kind of go like that maybe and then... Oh, this will work actually. This will work really well. Oh no, it rolled the wrong way. Oh, that was so bad. Oh wait, I might still make it over there. Oh, come on, please touch in a hurry. Actually, this will jostle it over there. And not sure I wanted to put that piece there, though. But we have a pineapple uh, watermelon going on. Those two also just had a really unlucky bounce. So that's where we're at. Well, I'm going to put these here. and We're going to have a nice red one sitting there. And if I'm a little bit quick, I can put that there and that there. Because that orange one's eventually going to come visit this one for sure. Well, for now, I'm going to go like that because that's loaded and that can sit there nicely. The cherry we're going to put over there. And is that going to sit there without? That's so dangerous. <laughs> that's probably going to kill me more than anything. But in the watermelon game, you have to take risks. That's what the game is really about. Educated risk. I think this should be a decent little chain reaction. So, see, in theory, we have enough to have a watermelon melon. But those pinks are never going to touch. I don't know if that's even possible. Like, we'd have to ship them all around. I don't know if they have room to even get to each other. 
so that's not great. Well, for now, I'm just going to get that because I don't want to stack up too many useless things right now. Uh, we got two of these coming up, so this will actually be a perfect little chain reaction. And then we're just left with everyone's favorite cherry, which might fit up there, but I don't think we want to take that risk. If I was really lucky, I would set it right here and it would sit just on top of the watermelon without being annoying. Uh, just gotta line it up. Nope, not even close. But we can easily turn that into another red one, but the uh, room is getting a little bit tight. So that can sit there. Those two can combine. That's great. Well, that's gotta sit there. There's no other place it can be. This will turn into a grape like that. I was hoping those two would touch. Why is everything sinking? Can things compress? I don't understand what just happened. I would like to know if things get compressed. That would make my job a lot easier. I wouldn't have done that had I thought that through better. Because now we're in a pickle. Well, things are slowly shifting actually, so I can drop that there and survive. This might kill me or it might chain react and do something really cool. So we'll go like that and we 2866. Many hours later, I finally have another good run going. We already have a watermelon. We have a lot of good pieces in a pretty good place. Now that I've started recording is where this all falls apart. I need those two oranges to combine with that red one, with this guy, and then we'll have some pretty good pieces very much there. We already have a score of 2,500 and the board is pretty tidy. So that's good. And that one's almost actually falling into place. I'm going to try and force it there. Look at this. This serotonin is flowing now. This just feels right. And I can already feel my brain starting to overthink this now. Things are going to fall apart fast. But if you drop that there, those two should combine. Those oranges probably won't combine but that's okay i just want to tidy up a bit the challenge at this part is trying to get the watermelon to play nice i've got to work on either side of it now and it obviously takes up like 33 percent of the entire world i wish i was better at dropping this like right here so it would stay on top of the watermelon for a second so i could work around it but i'm not going to have that luxury and if i drop this over here i might not be able to fit the next orange all the way down there uh, either way, I might not be able to get all the way to the bottom, which is a bit of a problem. So I'm going to try quickly. Okay, that was way wrong. Maybe? Nope, that's not going to go down there. But at least I could be happy in the fact that there's orange things reasonably close to each other. And we can set off a chain reaction over here. But I'm starting to worry that we're just going to get orange pieces all over that won't connect to each other. But we'll just keep throwing things together. If I put enough weight here, that actually might. There's enough gaps that things are still pretty shifty. It's a rather fluid environment. Actually, things are still shifting. I was sitting here thinking and things are actually getting slightly closer to where I want them. I don't really want to put this cherry anywhere, to be honest. But at least it takes up only a little bit of room. So hopefully it will continue shifting and go all the way to the bottom where we'll never have to see it again. That's actually working slowly. Uh, once those two oranges combine, I'm actually not sure what's going to happen. That's an acceptable result. I think that's an acceptable result because we could drop those two in real quick to get to that. Oh, now those reds can almost touch. This is actually really good. This cherry can actually be the driving wedge to push it down, maybe. Oh, this is really good. Okay, good. Though that watermelon is getting close to the top and uh, it's it does not compromise. Watermelons do not compromise. They're simply going to do what they do and I can't do anything about that. The cherry can actually be okay to drop here. That's not the end of the world. I don't think that's going to be really in the way. This is a perfect piece to lay there. Uh, we can maybe even just squeeze a cherry in over there. This is a bit of a garbage piece, we'll call it. We're just going to hide it over there, hopefully, and that's not going to do anything too exciting. I really need a big chain reaction on this side right now. And I just realized that I've separated the pale melon from the red thing. So I don't know if those two are ever going to touch now. But it all gets so unreasonably hard to work with. Like I've got to set a chain reaction straight down into the pink, into the pineapple. That's going to turn into a green melon. I do sort of see the strategy now. You can actually start shifting the watermelon up and back and forth and work under it. But then you got to be really careful how you lay your pieces. Because if you don't, things go sideways very quickly and then you're just boned. But for now I can work either side of it. It's not the greatest strategy, but it is a strategy. See, I needed those two to touch and then they could all combine into one green melon. They might still, if I get a lot of weight pushing things one way or another, uh, if those two combine, but that watermelon's getting awfully close to the top. So now I'm just sort of sitting here contemplating my life choices at this point. Well, a strawberry is almost a grape. Uh, this might create a chain reaction down this side, which doesn't really help me at this point, but it was at least satisfying to watch that go off. And we're not dead yet, so that feels good. Now I've got to combine two reds right here to combine with that pale one without pushing that watermelon anywhere. Exciting. I needed this red thing to be over there. That would be better. And things are still going to shift. Okay, that actually let the grape all the way through. That's not the worst outcome in the world. That one's pretty bad though. 
that one really bad. Because now I'm basically forced to drop everything on this side where I don't want to because that's already going to get in the way. Now the watermelon is shifting very slightly because we have the weight imbalance. Um, so we're quickly running out of good options. If we put that there, we're going to drop that there. Okay, that scared me, but we're okay. Uh, we're actually reasonably close to where we need to be. The problem is I want to put this one here and this next big orange block right there. I think I'm forced to have to try that. I don't know if that's going to work, but hopefully they squeeze in there. Okay. Uh, actually, we might get our chain reaction. The problem is I have to drop this grape right here and that might kill me. If not, I will get a good chain reaction. So we're going to drop this here. Okay, and we're going to just... No! All they had to do was react right there. They would have made a big chain reaction to put me over 3,000. That counts, right? The editors can make that look like that happened properly. And then it's... We got a score over 3,000. Over 5,000 probably by my estimate. 